Is this wine gluten free? Are you sure? How do you know? Are you sure it's gluten free? Do you want me to have an accident? You don't want me to have an accident. <laughs> I just don't want something too dry, you know? Sauvignon. I want something sweet, but like not sweet sweet. White asparagus. Just white asparagus. Hey guys, welcome back to Adulting with Alcohol. My name is Christy Norman, a certified ZOM, here to address the most asked wine question on the internet. Is this wine gluten free? I have good news. Most wine is gluten free. Beer isn't, just saying. Wine wins again. Most all wine that you run into will be considered gluten free or under 20 parts per million, which is where most people start having reactions. But there are some exceptions that you should be aware of if you have celiac disease. If there are flavoring additives or food coloring in the wine, it might not be gluten free. If the wine is an unnatural shade like blue, green, neon, anything, it might have enough gluten to affect you. Why would you want to put that in your body like in the first place? Maybe it has strawberry flavor added to it. Why would you put strawberry flavor in it? What the hell is wrong with you? Why? 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 <laughs> Before wine is bottled, it's filtered to be clear with anything from egg whites to activated charcoal to gelatin, and even rarely, wheat gluten. That may sound scary, but the remaining particles of gluten would be so minuscule in the final bottling that you would have to have an extreme sensitivity to be affected by it. Some wood barrels that wines are aged in can also be sealed with wheat gluten, but again, you would have to be very, very sensitive with celiac to be affected. In summary, if you wanna stay gluten-free, drink wine that looks and tastes like wine. <laughs> It's more likely that cheap wines will use food coloring and flavor additives to make their wine appear and taste a little bit better than they actually are. So if you're worried about your gluten allergy, stay away from the bottom shelf. In fact, if you're not affected by a gluten allergy, stay away from the bottom shelf. Just saying. That's it, thanks so much for watching this video. There's links to the Celiac Disease Foundation in the description box if you wanna learn a little bit more. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on christynorman.com. Tell me what you wanna see. Um, next week we'll be talking about cognac how it's made, the different styles, and how to drink it.